Welcome back to Alma, Missouri, everybody. Episode 14. There's probably only like five-ish episodes left here in the series because Farm Sim 25 will be coming out. I will probably have to uh, take some time to get going on that. I'll probably try to release one a week as things go by here. Unless I get the time to do two a week just to catch up on episodes. But it is going to be exciting to try out a new game again. Our, ch our ducks, actually I was going to say chickens, our ducks are in desperate need of some more wheat here. So that is the rest of it right there. So we are emptied out on wheat. We're going to plant some more in that uh, cotton field we just harvested on the previous episode. Very nice. Well, I guess we, it was a, we sold it on the previous episode. Lots of money there, though. Look how much we have. 534000 And we do need to get a wrapper yet here at some point. But other than that... We're kind of almost smooth sailing. We could probably look at getting a nice tractor or something. We do have that that other lime thrower we're going to buy when we need to do that. I think we might actually get one more year out of these fields, so we might not have to worry about it. Okay, let's see where we're at here. Yeah, they didn't quite fill them up. Um, They might actually run out before we get to it. They have been reproducing, which is interesting because I don't have it on automatic reproduction, but there's clearly <laughs> a bunch of ducks here. So we'll, uh, when we advance, we'll have to keep an eye on this and see if it goes down a lot on food. But I was even considering selling the ducks here at some point because we're kind of getting almost wrapped up on things. And then we could maybe think about doing horses, but I think we're going to be kind of tight on the schedule for that. We'll just take things as they go. We'll try to get the wheat in there and then uh, tackle that. I'm getting a bad frame drop right now. I don't know what's going on. All right. So we're going to waste little time. We need to get on this planting. I had to actually slow time down. We sped it up because there was so much snow trying to get the... Uh, cotton bales off the field. That was just ridiculous. Uh, we're going to need to fill this up, aren't we? Because we're going to be shy on space. Or on uh, seeds and fertilizer. The weed is right there. I think what we'll do is get this out to the field and then we'll run the truck over. And kind of do it the way we're supposed to do it. And fill it right up before we start planting. Somewhere where we can get access with the truck. We'll try it here. Yeah, we're going to need both seed and fertilizer. We could also sell that mixing wagon here at some point. We are definitely not going to need it. We kind of decided we're just going to use silage bales, I think, to feed our beef cows. Like I said, it would be nice to get to the, some horses since we got that big shed there, but I don't know if that's going to happen. We might not have enough time. Looks like there's some seeds in here. So we'll grab some fertilizer. Actually, we are completely out of fertilizer. That's right. Let's go ahead and purchase some more. Uh, what do we think? Ten thousand or fifty? That's a lot. Let's do the ten thousand, I think. There we go. Seeds. Not what I wanted to do. There we go. I could probably just put some more fertilizer in the other section too because this wagon is actually not going to be used for anything else besides this. 
All right, there we go. All topped up. Okay, looks like fertilizer will be first. So we're going to have to switch on that guy. Okay, I was wrong. That was seeds first. I wonder why it wouldn't let me unload it. And it was... It's a bit tricky how that works, too. We might as well top up even more seeds, isn't it? Yeah, and I just gotta move the auger up and down to get it to unload. It's really weird how that works. I think they could have did a bit of a better job on that. All right, now we should be able to move to our next section here, like so. There we go. Once you get the hang of it, it ain't so bad. That'll be all our fertilizer. What did we end up with? Yeah, there's still plenty more room. Okay, that should do us for a while. There's lime in the back. Shouldn't need that for a little bit yet. We'll do wheat. So ready to go. Like I said, we'll see how our ducks do. We might just sell them. And then I suppose we could sell this wheat. Whatever we decide. Depending on how crazy things get. Ooh, it looks like we're going to be going through fertilizer left and right. But it is definitely good here. Variable seed rate is working, so we get in these smaller required areas. We will save on a lot of seed. It also works that way for nitrogen, but we must need quite a bit because it's going down real fast. Alright, I'm going to tackle this and we will see you in a few minutes. Good. Let's look at the calendar here. So that should be ready to pick in July. That's when those peas are going to have to be delivered. And what about our rye? When is that supposed to... June. So we might actually get to that yet in this episode. 
trying to think if I should... Obviously, our elf elf is going to be ready here pretty quick, too. But I was wondering if I shouldn't start doing that off-camera. The problem is it's going to be in the middle of the episode. So then we kind of lose a day if I decide to do that. Which we want to get like three harvests a year on that would be great. Okay, so I think that's it for now. Let's take one step at a time here. We need to advance. And we're basically waiting on... Well, our sheep are going to have to... We're going to have to put more wool on our trailer. I think what we're going to do is after those sheep finish that grass, we're going to sell them all. It's a hard decision to do because it's obviously good money, but... They're coming out way too fast, and we kind of have to move on with things. And of course, no more space. Let's see, well, there's 20,000, I think, at our... Yeah, so even the ducks are actually eating a lot of food. So what I think what I'm going to do... See, that's really weird how they're reproducing, but they're not... Is the output not there? Seems like we should be getting more eggs than that. Let's sell a few of these because these are going to get quite ridiculous. Okay, we got it down to 74. That was ridiculous. So, yeah, they, we didn't really make much money off of selling them. But that was, they're definitely, we're using up a lot of our food. So we probably will end up selling them at some point here. Again, with the sheep as well just so we can start focusing on more of the field work I think all right excellent I probably if we skip ahead a little bit here for another spawn I bet we'll get another bunch yep couple anyway Nothing crazy. Again, the wool will not deliver until November. Oh no, excuse me, May. Next month. Which is fine, we'll uh we'll sell it then, and then we'll just keep running them until they finish up the last of the grass, and then we'll Go ahead and sell the sheep. Right now it's worth 322000 so it's a lot. We got two trailers worth for those that just joined us. We're working on this one, and that one's completely full over there, so a lot of wool. But it'll be time to focus our efforts on other areas. Looks like this alfalfa's ready already. This is crazy. So we're probably going to have to get at this. Like I said, it's kind of getting repetitive on every episode, but we should keep at it. Otherwise, we'll lose out. We're going to be doing uh, hay alfalfa with this until we're going to need silage, which we probably won't need silage for quite a while because uh, we only have the 12 calves in our shed right now. And it'll last quite a while. So we'll make money on the hay. Actually, what we should do, I think it's time to buy that cutter we've been eyeing up. Yeah, so mowers... And the biggest width we could get was this guy here at 12.3. It's going to take 250 horse. So we're going to have to use our big tractor. Oh, actually, this one will, this will work too. Let's go ahead and purchase that. Work mode. Let's see. We're, we can actually go just regular. 150,000. Got it. And then the front as well. Awesome. So we'll go ahead and pick these on down. And we'll see what we get out of them. About time we do upgrade because I was getting a little bit old of that working with. Shouldn't take us that long anymore. 
I came in the back way again. Gotta go back out front. We should have probably hosed it off. To make it look a little bit better. If that is alright. Like 13,000 for the back unit. And 10,000 for the front. Not bad. Not bad at all. Here we go. I suppose I kind of looked on Mod Hub 2 to see if there was anything bigger than this, but. Got to get some use out of the base game stuff. Probably better off that we do use this tractor over our track. Just because it'll work better, I think, with the correct turning when you go around corners to make cuts. Let's see what we got here. Oh, this is so much better. So much quicker. And we're running at about 14 miles an hour. So not a bad speed either. Before we wrap up the episode, we'll let that sit. We'll uh, get it bailed on the next episode. We need to spray that field. Oh, I hope we can drive on there with these tractor tires. Let's go check real quick because that was the issue with the cotton. That these wide tires ran down the crop and we couldn't do it. This is the first grill stage so it should work. But you just never know sometimes. Didn't work on the cotton. But this, this is going to work. Perfect. So we'll grab the sprayer, take care of this so we don't forget it. Spraying can be one of those tasks that you could overlook sometimes. I'll definitely see that hay though, so I'll remember that. And we do have spot spraying for those that have just joined us, so it will last quite a while here in our tank. 
Yeah, but we only used 5%. We sprayed a couple times now, I believe. Did we check the sales today? Got the check, I think. Oh, yeah, the... I think we're done with cotton in this series. Definitely paid the bills, but... Like I said, we're getting down there on episodes, so... I kind of want to buy one more field yet before we progress. I don't know if I really want to do one that big, long one on the outside. How much do these prices of these fields even cost? I never even checked. So this guy here is... Three, 336. I was almost thinking about doing 7 here in the future. Oh no, that 141 for that, and then, uh, oh, 633 for that one. Yeah, we could maybe do 7, or maybe 6. Kind of want to do more straighter ones, in case we want to set a worker off on it. And they can handle it better. Again, when they get 20, uh, Farm Sim 25, it's supposed to work, those workers are supposed to do the fields of any custom shape that should be real nice to set them off and not, e not even have to do the headland or anything. That should be all of it. Yes, indeedy. Pretty good. Yield is looking good. All right, what I think I want to do real quick before I forget, I want to get this tractor fixed up. The wrench on it is pretty low, and I think it might cause our working speed to be a little slower than it actually is. It's always good to stay up on top of our maintenance. We do have our workshop here. I think the sprayer should be alright, but I just want to double check. The max speed is probably 7 anyway. Let's see real quick. I want to see that working speed. Sprayer. Yeah, 7 miles an hour, so I guess it wasn't any faster there. That's actually in pretty good shape. But we'll go ahead and repair the track. Look at that 6,000. That was that had zero hours on the clock when we started this save. Definitely got our use out of that. All right, so we're going to leave it there for today's episode. I'm going to put this away. And then uh, when we come back, we're going to go ahead and bail that hay that we got there. We just cut and tedded. And then we'll have to sell the wool. It'll be a big payday. We should probably look at maybe getting a new field purchased as well. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you on the next one.